Hello, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an updated bookshelf tour. And it's been a while since I've done one of these. I think the last time I did one was right when the pandemic was starting in like early 2020. But since then, my bookshelves have actually changed quite a bit because I no longer have a bookshelf out in the main room of the apartment. I have all of my books in my room now, which has been a very nice change. I feel like it's a lot cozier in my room because I have all of the books in here now. And before we do jump into the bookshelves, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. I think it's pretty safe to say that sleep is a vital component of everyone's health and well-being. Like most people, sleep is very important to me, so I'm really excited to be partnering with Birch for today's video. I have never been the best sleeper. I actually deal with insomnia on a pretty regular basis, so it's very important for me to have a very comfortable mattress when I do try to get a good sleep at night. Birch makes organic, non-toxic mattresses made right here in America with just four materials sourced straight from nature, organic latex, New Zealand, Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. And I think it's super important anytime you can be using organic materials and natural products in your life that you should do so. And it's exciting because each Birch mattress comes with two eco rest pillows and these pillows are made from recycled plastic bottles and they are so breathable and so good for the environment and I can't believe how thick and squishy and comfortable they are. I love having a natural organic and 100% non-toxic mattress because it's helping me sleep so much better. It's so much more comfortable than my old mattress and it's so easy to buy this thing online. I think something that's really awesome with Birch is that you get a 100 night sleeping trial and a 10 year warranty when you buy their mattresses because I understand that it can make someone nervous to buy something online that they haven't tried in person themselves, but it's so cool that they give you more than three months to test out this mattress to see if it's something that you like or not. And if you don't, they'll come and pick it up for you and you'll get a full refund. I think too, the best part is that Birch will deliver this right to your door and you can just unbox it in your home and it's really easy to unbox. It comes wrapped in this like really intense saran wrap and you just cut it open and the mattress will inflate on its own and it's super super easy to set it up on your own. I love my new Birch mattress and I think that you would too. I know it's not every day that you shop for a new mattress but if you are looking for a new mattress you can use the link in my description or go to birchliving.com slash Gabby Reads and get $200 off your mattress, plus the two free pillows. And once again, thank you so much to Birch Living for sponsoring today's video. All right, so we're just gonna swivel to the left and you can see all of the books, all of them. This is all of them, all of the books that I own. So first I thought it would be nice to show you these two little carts that I have beside my bed right here. So this first little cart here that I have right beside my bed is where I have my books that I'm reading very next first thing. This is like the TBR that I have for the current month. So I do have my little reading journal here that I keep right beside my bed because, you know, this is where I sleep and so this is where I read for the most part. Um, I like to have easy access to that so I keep it on this shelf. But yeah, these are all the books that I'm reading like immediately right away, like want to get my hands on. This one's my current read at the moment that I'm filming this. And yeah, these are all the books. I like easy access that they're right next to my bed right here so I can just easily grab them when I want to read them. And then dropping down one shelf, I decided to put a lot of my thrillers and horror books that are on my TBR more in this section down here because I thought it would be easier to just see, <laughs> to separate my TBR books by genre. And so these are the ones that I do want to get to very soon as well or that I do have some plans for reading these. And so I just wanted easy access for all of my thrillers and horrors to be kind of on the same shelf. And then going directly to the car on the right, on the left of this car over here, on top here I have all of my most recent books that are added to my TBR and to my collection. So these have been sent from publishers, from friends, or just like purchased myself. And these are all the books that I track for my book hauls every month. Like I know that I recently bought it if it's up here. I mean, granted, sometimes these books will immediately go to the shelf and I'll want to read them right away. But for the most part, these all stay up here so I can keep track of them. And then dropping down one more. These are more TBR books that's kind of a mix of, we have some like more sci-fi stuff over here, but for the most part, this is kind of like a romance contemporary books that are on my TBR kind of area. And again, these are ones that I do plan to read more urgently than 
other books that are on my TBR, which you'll see more of those later on. And then when you drop down, these are some more backlist titles that are on my TBR that I still want to read that I have not yet read. <laughs> so almost all of this area is all TBR books. My main priority are the ones on this cart here, but I like to kind of separate them into a few different genres and categories over here, but yeah, these are all unread. Isn't that wild? So many of them. Oh, all right. Stepping back from the cart, I thought it would be nice to look at this bookshelf next. This one is the one that has always been in my room, and this shelf mainly consists of all of my favorite books of all time. This entire bookshelf here is pretty much just organized by color, so there's no other real organization method to this. I do have some graphic novels over here, like Dancing at the Pity Party and the Heartstopper series, but for the most part, there's no real organization here. I do like to keep series together, even if they're different colors, because that's just my brain, like they need to stay together, but at the same time I like having things in like a color scheme. So these are all of the pinkish book titles that I love, and you know, as I said, most of these books are some of my all-time favorites, like that's how they make it onto this white shelf. Yeah, then it just kind of goes from pink into orange and some yellow titles over here as well. Alright, and then dropping down to my next shelf here, we pretty much just have all of my blue and some purple books. I like to put books on display that I just read really recently that I really loved that match in the color scheme just because I think it looks really cool. But yeah, behind here you can see we have like a few purplish books on the end, but for the most part, this is the blue shelf, and if you can't tell, blue is my favorite color. I am very attracted to any book that has blue on it, if you can't tell. I mean, this is why, this is the only color that takes up an entire shelf on this bookshelf. So yeah, um, most of my more recent ones are going to be over here on the side. Um, I also do have some ARC copies in here, and I'm not sure if I want to start a separate bookshelf just for ARC copies, or if I don't mind them being mixed in with my regular books. Like, I haven't really decided yet, but for now, they're just- doesn't it look- it just looks so beautiful, you know? Like, I just love the blue. Alright, and then dropping down to the next shelf. This is a very strange mix of books on this shelf. I have some red books over in this corner over here, and then some white books that kind of- feel like they fit in the red area as well. And then I do have some of the green books here. I've noticed I think green is my least amount of owned book color for some reason. And then I have some purple titles as well as some blue going into like teal. <laughs> this is just a whole mix of colors on this shelf, but I really like the way that it looks. I also do have um, some Taylor Swift albums, you know, on display just because I feel like they look nice here. But sorry, there's like a there's like a random <laughs> string of lights going through the shelf. But I'm sure you might notice that Thunderhead is actually separated from Scythe, but because they're both on the same shelf, I don't really have a problem with it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, down here, I really love the way that this U book looks with all of the red books because it's kind of like half white and then half red, and I just, I like the way that it all blends together, you know? And from there, dropping down to the next shelf, this one is pretty much all of the books that have kind of like either black or gray spines. Again, I like putting books on display that I recently read and loved or like an all-time favorite that I just want to always see the cover of this book. But for the most part, I feel like all of the books in this area right here are all thrillers or like horror books for the most part. I mean, we've got some of my all-time faves back here like Gone Girl and then, you know, The Passenger's Imaginary Friend, Cabin at the End of the World, and Bunny. Like all of these just kind of fit right in here. So those are all almost all thrillers and horror books right there. And then in this corner, we have a mix. Like, there's some romances back here, like Josh and Hazel and him, Before We Were Strangers, Egomaniac. Like, there's a whole bunch, mixed bunch of books over here, but um, for the most part, these are some of my all-time favorites that I just keep in this area because the spines kind of match each other and they look nice all together. All right, and then going down from that shelf, we have the bottom shelf on this bookshelf, which this is probably the shelf that I'm the least excited about, or like I kind of want to change how this one looks, but I'm undecided about it. I kind of put, um, so this area over here is like super random because I have my Evelyn Hugo arc that is like one of my most proud owned arcs ever, and so this is why I'm thinking I might move some arcs down here with this one and make this one more into like an arc shelf. I don't really know yet, but um, 
but I do have a monster calls mostly because it doesn't really fit anywhere else and then I have this whole series which I used to love the Lunar Chronicles series it's been years since I've read it so like I don't know if I would still love it as much but yeah these are all of the white and tannish kind of book spines on my shelf I know I did have some white ones up here but these ones feel more like white red or like there's some red on these covers or spines these down here like we do have some of my all-time favorites down here though like the butterfly project is down here big little lies and i i did realize too a lot of these down here are either romances or young adult books so yeah that is the bottom of this shelf but this is the one that i'm most likely to change sometime soon i'm just not very happy with how this one looks <laughs> I've been thinking for days Yeah, I've been thinking for years That I tell myself I stop the things That keep me from you, dear But I keep on losing it Oh, I keep on losing it And I keep hoping that I'll change Yes, I believe I'd be a saint I keep myself from feeling with the pictures that I paint But I keep on losing it Till I've lost the only thoughts that keep me sane Alright, so moving on from this white bookshelf Straight to the left we have this amazing wooden bookshelf This wooden bookshelf came from Target. I'm not totally sure if they still have it, but it's like an oak 72 inch bookshelf from them. And this bookshelf is one of my favorites. I actually wanted to get rid of this white one and try to get a second one of this, but they were all sold out of them at Target. But this one's especially nice because I love that you can see through to the back and there's no backing on this bookshelf. It's all just wooden oak shelves. So I really really love this bookshelf and this bookshelf is really awesome because this is where i'm storing a lot of my book of the month books if you didn't notice um this is almost my entire bookshelf is dedicated to book of the month titles and then down here we have some other things but coming up to this top bookshelf these are all some of my all-time favorite book of the month titles like absolute highly recommend favorite books of all time go up here um i also do have this candle up here from birthday candles there back here we have just some of the best like god tier all-time favorites like these are books that i absolutely love 100 percent recommend like just the best you know and so i have all of these from over the years on this shelf i added in some recent favorites like anxious people um death of evac og people we meet on vacation in the push have made it to this top shelf as well as the hunting wives um but yeah back here i i mainly put thrillers in this giant stack right here on this side because you know i try to do some kind of color coordination on this shelf but it doesn't really work too well so i just decided to put all the thrillers for the most part on this right side this book in front and then over here we have more of the you know romances hard-hitting literary fiction historical fiction like that kind of stuff is more on the left side here but yeah those are the god tier faves on that top shelf and then when you drop down to this second shelf um this is one where i put in kind of like a color rainbow right here i did all of these books that i have read so this whole front section is all books that I have read from Book of the Month. They're not quite all-time favorite that they go on the all-time favorite shelf, but they're still books that I, for the most part, really enjoyed. I like having them all in like a color coordination right here. I just think it looks so freaking beautiful and so nice. I also do have um, The Nightingale up on display here just because I really love this book cover and I love the color of it. I just think it looks really stunning to have on display. But for now, let me move this book out of the way. So you can see um, this entire bookshelf is all books that I have already read. I wanted to keep my <laughs> Michelle and Obama book together back here. So I have them both back here. And then I have Where the Crawdads Sing. I have some Jennifer Weiner books. I have Night Film, which 
Witch. This one's one of my favorite thrillers. Um, I just keep these back here because they don't really match with any color palettes and because they're not um, book of the month titles, so they're not really like supposed to be on this shelf if we're being technical, but the shelf actually has a mix of some books that aren't book of the month picks, like like We Begin at the End is not a book of the month pick as well as some of these down here, but for the most part, this shelf is all book of the month titles that I have read and really enjoyed. I don't know, I just really, I really like the way that this color palette looks down here. I just think it looks uh, very satisfying. <laughs> I also have um, this edition of Folklore just like on display here because I love this version of the cover. I just think it's so freaking aesthetic and beautiful. And so I just, I wanted to keep it on display on the shelf. All right, so going down from this shelf, we have my TBR book of the month shelf, which this one is starting to get a little bit out of hand. <laughs> Um, I recently just did a video where I read the first chapter of a few of these different books that I have here on this shelf. So if you missed that, I'll have to link it down below. But zooming in here so you can see the titles. Um, these ones I just put all on the left side because they're kind of all like either like black or dark blue spines that you can't really see too much or like really white spines where there's not a lot of color on them otherwise. So that's kind of why I stacked these over on the side here. And then with these ones, I wanted them to be more in a rainbow order again. <laughs> I just really love the rainbow. It just looks so satisfying on my shelves. So I like organizing them by color like this. Um, these are all book of the month books that I want to get to immediately. Like these are the ones that are maybe more recent or maybe they have been on my shelves for a long time. But I these are the ones I'm most excited to read personally. So that's why they are closer in the front because as you can see there are books behind as well <laughs> so if i pull down that front stack of books you can see that there are even more books behind which these again these are all book of the month books that i have had on my shelf probably for a while now and these are all books that i still really would like to read that's why i've kept them all through these years um some that I, i'm still especially excited to read are ninth house Circe. Um, you know, I would just really like to get to these eventually. I just haven't been in the right mood for them and they're just kind of a little bit outside of my comfort zone So I'm not sure if I'll enjoy them, but I still would like to read them All right, and then I moved all of these books out of the way so you can see behind here But I do have a few other book of the month books back here that are still on my TBR as well that are unread and then to the right here I have all of these books that are still on my TBR as well These are the books that I think I'm putting behind here because I'm not sure if I want to keep some of these books or if I want to unhaul them I'm still kind of undecided but because back here we have some really hyped books like Station Eleven and All the Light We Cannot See and even like Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna I do have some really well-known books too like Fight Club and American Psycho 1984 back here these are more like classics but these are some books that I'm not sure when or if I'm going to get to them I don't know if they're gonna be my thing or not but I'm holding on to them back here just because one day if I do get in the mood for them, I want to have them still. So that's kind of why they're just like lingering behind all of these books back here. But these are all books that I will maybe get to eventually. I don't know yet. <laughs> I also just wanted to acknowledge that I have this cute little ocean driftwood candle from Bath and Body Works here. And this one smells freaking phenomenal and it's perfect for summer. All right, so moving on from this bookshelf, dropping down to the next one. This one is another pretty random TBR shelf. <laughs> so right up front here, I thought it would be cute if I could put some of my book troop selections for the year so far, just because I thought it would be cute to have them all together so I can see them all. So these are all the picks um, for the first four months of the year, and I just think they look so cute together. And I also have this little fake plant right next to it that I think looks really nice. This little string right here is for these blue lights that I got from the store. They don't work very well, like you can't really see them that well on video, but they light up pretty good at night. But anyways, behind this little plant here, I have a whole stack of books back here. And this is actually kind of like a color coordinated thing that I wanted to do. So back here on this shelf, I just wanted to put any books that had like black or gray or white or some combination of both on this shelf back here. I think they look really nice all together actually. Um, I don't know, I just think that looks like really stunning all together. Um, some standouts on this shelf that I really want to read soon is On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous. I've had this book for a while now. And I have And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This is one that I would like to get to. I have The Book Thief, The Great Gatsby, The Haunting of Hill House. Like there's some classics over here for sure that I would like to get to as well as Jane Eyre. I have this um, 
special collector edition from Barnes and Noble, I think. Um, so yeah, very much looking forward to a lot of the books on this bookshelf. And then straight to the right here, we have some other books that I would really like to get to soon, but that I'm also really intimidated by, like for example, House of Leaves, because she thick. I also have Dune, which I know the movie got pushed back, so it gave me more time, but this is one of the books that I think is the most goddamn beautiful that I've ever seen on my shelf because I love the sprayed blue edges and just like everything about this book is so stunning and I can't wait to read it and I'm very intimidated. This one's like a literary fiction that I've been wanting to read forever, the most fun we ever had. And then I also have this book by Karen Slaughter that I got in New York. I got this one um, signed at the Strand. So I am very excited to eventually read this one, but for now it's still on my TBR. <laughs> I also wanted to say too, on this bookshelf, I also have this really cute globe back here. I love that it's like black and with the color palette on here. I just think it looks really cool. Um, I actually got this globe as a gift from my sister's boyfriend years ago when he was my secret Santa at work and it's like still one of my favorite gifts that I've ever gotten. I love it so much. And then I have the Lover album on display here just because this thing is so big and because I think it looks really nice. And then behind here, oh my god. <laughs> and then behind all of that I have this giant record of folklore. I just keep it on the shelf because I think it looks really stunning. It's like a really, really beautiful record and no before you ask i don't even have a record player but i would like to own one one day so i bought it because i want to <laughs> i want to have folklore whenever i do get a record player so yeah i just feel like that fits um really well in that corner for now and i like utilizing it on my bookshelf <laughs> all right and then dropping down from this bookshelf we are moving on to the last bookshelf that i have in my room and as you can probably see from the front here this is where i put all of the stephen king books that i own and the only real organization that I have for this is I put all of his thickest books that I own on the left side here just because I think they look all really cool next to each other because they're so huge. Um, the only one on this side that I have not yet read is Sleeping Beauties. This is the thickest Stephen King book that I still own that I have not yet read. So that one is on the side here. I do plan to read this one eventually, but I don't have any plans currently to read it. And then moving on to this side here, these are all books of his that I own that I have read. Um, so this is like my red stack. And then to the right here, I have three Stephen King books that I own that I have not yet read. Um, it's Carrie, The Green Mile, and Lisey's Story. Um, the one that I'm probably most excited to get to out of these is Lisey's Story, just because I hear a lot about this one from some of my friends and they really enjoy it. And a lot of them said it's more like a thriller. So I'm really excited to read this one soon, but again, I've heard great things about The Green Mile too, and I've heard some not so great things about Carrie, and I absolutely fucking hate this cover, but I'm still excited to eventually read it. And then we have some books behind all the Stephen King books. All right, and then looking behind the Stephen King books, I just have some random books down here. I don't really know why they're down here, to be honest. They just are. Um, I have some Book of the Month books down here that I have read. Pretty much every Book of the Month book in this stack I have read and really enjoyed. I have not yet read these two thrillers. These both are still on my TBR, but they're down here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I just had to reorganize that a little bit because it was kind of a pain to look at. So again, these are some of my Book of the Month books and Stranger Things books all together on the side here, then these are all of the books that I have read, really enjoyed. I just don't really have anywhere else on my shelves to put them for now. So they're all down here. And then to the right here, I just put all of these books that I have also not read yet that kind of like all fit together, I think. Like, I don't know, they look kind of nice all together down here. Um, A lot of these are like, you know, thrillers like Joe Nesbo and Lars Kepler are some really popular um, thriller authors that I just have not yet gotten to. But yeah, those are all going to reside down there for now. I also have this amazing book sleeve down here um, that's made by my friend Rachel. She made these for Summer Ween last year. All I'm saying is that we might have something similar coming for this year's Summer Ween to do with book sleeves. So stay tuned for that. With the pictures that I paint but I keep on losing in Till I've lost the only thoughts that keep me sane I've been wasting all my days 
Guess I've been wasting them for years And I do my best to block the thoughts And hope they disappear But I'll keep on losing it So yeah, that is a wrap for this uh, bookshelf tour. So let me know your thoughts. I have been trying to get into the habit of unhauling books as much as I'm hauling books because I feel like recently, like especially in these last like six months or in the last year, I've been hauling so many books that it's been getting a little bit out of control. So I feel like I'm trying to unhaul as much as I am hauling these days. I'm trying to give a lot of books to my friends that I'm like, okay, be honest with myself. Will I ever read this? Or if I enjoyed a book, but it's not like an all time favorite to the point where it's not gonna go on my favorite shelf and that I'm not gonna wanna reread it. I'm trying to pass books on to friends and just trying to be more mindful about my space and my bookshelves and what I actually wanna keep. Because I used to be in the mindset that I wanted to collect all of the books and like I wanted to own any book that I've ever read. But now <laughs> I'm feeling like that's not really realistic for me. So Especially since I live in an apartment like maybe one day if I have my own place or like my own little library or something like maybe I'll be more comfortable with owning every book that I've ever read but for right now I'm just happy with keeping books that I really really loved and plan to reread or would like to reread someday or keeping books that are on my TBR that I know that I actually want to get to eventually. But yeah, let me know if you'd ever want to see unhaul videos from me in the future because I always forget to do something like that. I feel like I'm always unhauling books so regularly that I never have like a substantial amount of books that I'm unhauling at one time, but maybe I can start saving a bunch of books to unhaul in one big video in one big video like that would be a fun idea so yeah let me know your thoughts and let me know if you think i should start an arc shelf if you think that would like look cool like i don't know if i have enough arcs honestly to like fill up a whole shelf like i don't really know i had such a fun time thank you so much for watching today's video and let me know like how do you organize your bookshelves because clearly i have a thing for like the rainbow organization it's like my favorite way to organize but i'm always curious how other people organize because i know some people do like alphabetical order they they organize it by genre you know maybe by like their favorite authors like i don't really know like I know there's so many different ways you can organize your books so let me know which ways do you have your books organized thank you so much for watching and hanging out and I will see you very soon with another video bye